So you've probably heard of AWS, Google, cloud services, Azure, obviously rapid scale. Um, these are all cloud providers and have different ways of delivering their cloud services to end consumers. So what's hybrid? What's private? What's multi-tenant? What does that really mean? First thing I want to do is, is draw out for you a large cloud. And in this cloud is multi-tenant. Multi-tenant cloud. So we have rapid scale, AWS, Google Cloud Services, Microsoft Azure are all cloud providers that would fit into the scope of multi-tenant or shared cloud providers. Over here, we're going to depict a smaller cloud, and this is private cloud. Now, why would you do one versus the other? Well, time to market is very quick when it comes to multi-tenant cloud. In some cases, you can swipe your credit card, deploy resources. Uh, you can work with a, a cloud provider like RapidScale, and we can actually deploy those resources for you and build them to the specifications that you have uh, within the scope of the cloud environment that we build our platform on. With private cloud, it's a bit cust more customizable, but it's also not quite as scalable as quickly. Whereas over here, we can add virtual machines very, very quickly and for a very large scale. In a private cloud, we're going to have a spec where it's going to be a, a very specific uh, configuration. We're going to build that configuration for a certain amount of time and be able to grow into that, that, that cloud. And then if we need to add resources, it takes a little bit longer to add additional components where you know, we may have a certain number of servers in the private cloud that are providing this very specific configuration. In six months or a year, we need to add more. We have to procure those resources, add those resources. It takes a little bit longer. It's also typically going to be a little more expensive. And it's also going to be potentially more secure. So let's put a little lock here. And it's going to be potentially more secure. Now, in, in recent time, multi-tenant cloud providers have, have proven to be a very secure place to land your data. And it does give you that economy of scale when it comes to scaling up resources and deploying virtual machines very quickly and scaling them out very quickly. Now, you don't have to pick one or the other. You can actually leverage resources in both. So what we have now is the option of saying, we'll pull, put some workloads into this multi-tenant cloud. Maybe it's an e-commerce. And we're going to say, let's, let's, let's move this over here. And this is going to be for e-com. But you may have a very specific workload where the database needs to be on a very specific configuration. So we may put the database over here into the private cloud that's been built for it. The only thing we really need to consider here is that we also have some continuity that has good connections, good connectivity, and this is where our networking comes in. So we have plenty of bandwidth and very low latency between these environments because they typically are communicating to each other. But we'll have the orchestration of deploying into our multi-tenant cloud, and then we have the customized customization uh, within the private cloud where we can take our workloads and we can split them between the two environments and then manage those from their respective portals.